Hi, I'm Garrett Hoddle. Police in Temple responding to a motorcycle crash early this morning near West Adams and Apache Drive. The rider was transported to Baylor Scott and White, their condition unknown at this time. Police do want drivers to avoid the area. The crash is under investigation. Also, in a Twitter post at 6.30 this morning, Waco Fire says it and hazmat units are responding to a large fuel spill off South IH 35 and 17th Street. Now, according to their Twitter post, southbound traffic is stopped, and we're going to continue to keep you posted online with further details. Now, here's a look at our first alert forecast. Well, definitely not feeling like fall for the next couple of days here. Our temperatures are going to be way above average. Usually, we're in the upper 70s. Today, we're going to be in the mid 80s. 86 is a high over in Waco, 87 over near Bryan College Station. We're going to cool down to the lower 70s, upper 60s later on tonight and it's tomorrow morning. But for the next couple of days here, we're going to be expecting some pretty breezy conditions. So definitely expect some of that wind over the next couple of days. Could be seeing a couple of isolated showers as well for our Saturday and Sunday, drying out just a little bit. On our Monday, going to be even seeing potential temperatures into the upper 80s, low 90s throughout central Texas for the next couple of days here. But as we head further into our week, that's where we're going to see the biggest potential for some of those storm and shower chances, also cooling us down to the upper 70s and low 80s.